so we are here in the video game so to take the course you need to going to take this file I.O. reading and writing files in C++ so we enter the plate Boom. okay so welcome to this tutorial we're going to see how to read and write files in C++ okay the I.O. stream and the fstream libraries. The IO stream is the standard library which provides the C and C out methods for reading from a standard input and writing to a standard output, respectively. So the fstream is the file stream library that enables us to work with files. Okay, so reading and writing files in C. The first thing is to include the FS stream library. The second step is to create a stream. We can create an input and output stream or both. So we're going to see if we create, uh, for example, F stream, my file, we can pass arguments for only reading or reading and writing. Or for example, here and other parameters we can pass to the method, to the stream class so the off stream is for writing a file and if stream is to reading a file also it's important to say that you you need to have permissions so we're going to see later in the video how to change permission from the terminal and if if permissions do not allow c++ to read or write it's going to not happen those intention so the third step is to my the file file open and the name of the file so this file this open method works both for three of the past classes then we proceed to write or read and finally we can close my file the name of your file and close off stream this data type represents the output file stream and is used to create files and to write information to files. So the O of output writes, of stream writes. Then the if stream. This data type represents the input file stream. E for I for input is used to read information from files. So if you use if stream, you can only read, you cannot write. And if you use F stream, you can read and write, or you can configure by passing the parameters to sing to make a singular construction instance of this class F stream. So this data type represents the file stream generally and has the capabilities of both off stream and if stream, which means it can create file, write information to files, and read information from files. So it's important to say that offstream can create files and write files, while iStream only can read. Okay, so here we can see the arguments of, of the open member function. So when you open a file, you can append the file if you're writing. This will add the text to the existing text file. If you use iOS 8, you will open the file and you will end the read and write control to another file. If you use iOS in, you will open a file for reading using the F stream, FS stream. If you use iOS out, you open a file for writing. And if you use the iOS trunk, for truncate, if files already exist, it, it contents will be truncated before opening the file. So here, for example, you have a, a F stream file, and you can open the, the file for uh, writing and reading. So let's go to code. Okay, so let's code. Um, we need to create two files. You can name it the way you want. I create a read and write.cpp and the header, but we're going to use that. 
CPP. So the first thing we want to do is to include the fstream library. So if you want to go cleaner, we can declare all this in the header. Well, once we want to use include the IO stream for C in and C out, and we're also going to include the string library um, by the context. I'm going to use the namespace std and to, to include a local header, we put include. And we can write out HTTP. We include. Okay. So the main function and return zero. So let's begin with making a write of file so we want to use of stream and my file name of the file that we're going to instantiate and the name of the output file and here we can pass the parameters for example ios append for appending if the file already exists or we can use truncate to delete what we will begin with appending so you can see how it works so let's make a conditional if we're going to check also permissions of the file so you can in the terminal we are going to change the permissions to make this code break or not work so okay important here if my file in if, if this stream uh, work it if you use the method is open the stream what we're going to do we're going to append for Marie Curie align we're going to a new line and Another line for Albert Einstein. Also, new line. Okay. If something went wrong, we're going to use single line C out. We're going to put enable to write file. Okay, so let, let's test this code. So let's compile. Let's let's run, and we can see here that input was created. So now, if here we, for example, run again the the code, it will append the names. So it continue appending. So if we change here the parameter to truncate and we compile again, we run, we see that we have only two because it's truncate the file. Another interesting thing, for example, we can change permissions. For example, I'm gonna use the ch mode. Mm and all is equal to only read for input and it will run again the code unable to write the file because if we see the permissions i only give for all users permission only to read so we can change the permission for the admin by user read and write let's see the permissions now you can see i give the user admin read and write so if we run again the code 
we're going to see that we can write and you see we change the permission in the terminal so another way of of writing file is using fstring and we can put here in the parameters if we see here it will not fail so let's make it fail it works for example let's let's pass for example ios you can pass a couple of parameters so ah we need to compile sorry and <laughs> that, that's why it work so here is compile again and it will fail you will see in a moment boom why? Because we, the F stream, we pass parameters and we didn't pass the parameter of writing. So we can put here iOS that out. So if we compile again, we run. Oh, everything is okay. Okay. So let's comment this code. Okay, so the next step, let's read, read a file. So the first method we're going to use is we're going to use if stream for input, if stream of my file in okay and let's call it input dot txt okay okay so let's say if my file in the previous process work is open if the stream is open let's okay so we're going to use a method while okay while get line mm -hmm. my of my file file in so I here the thing is sorry okay so here the line we need to instantiate the line so we're going to put string line. Okay, everything is okay. Then here we're going to see out every line. Read an end line per line. E and finally if something fails else okay else see out enable to read the file okay so let's compile this and let's okay here we read the current File here with this, we can if we change it. Okay, so we can pass parameters, for example. Okay, for example, if we want to use another method for reading, we can remove the only file stream, and here we can pass the parameter ios in so it will work if we compile first compile and then run it works but if we put for example here only for output we forget we compile and as you see 
is not working. So here we can put your iOS for out and iOS for output and for reading. So if we compile again and again. Oh, sorry. We don't have no file. It was working, but let's put something, for example, hello, because we will truncate So, hello. And finally, we, we end this course. So, I'm working in this application. Here is the course.